1378 AM streaming live on smoking99.com. It's the Dynalin Big Show. Let's go. Oh, 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 it's the Dynalin Big Show. In the house, in the car, or wherever you go. Now you know. So tell a neighbor, tell a friend that the good time show is about to begin. Yeah. So it's an old school party. Get out your seat, go grab somebody. Call it if you want some more. Woo. Now you're tuned in to the ride. It's the Big Show. Yeah. That's the sounds of La Chic. Before that, you heard from Cameo and the Tempting Temptations on the Dinoland Big Show. We're 1370 AM WLTH Radio, streaming worldwide on Smokin99.com. All right, all right. You heard the commercial, and guess what, ladies and gentlemen, I have T.L. Williams on the line. How you doing, T.L.? I'm good. How you doing, Dinoland? I'm good. We've been pumping up the show for next Friday, May 1st. So the people thought I'd give you a call, see if you can call in and we can have a conversation. Oh, that sounds like a plan. What you doing today on a Saturday in Chicago? Well, I was running for the show, of course. All right. So, yeah, get ready for that. I'm going to have a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, I had a lot of parents uh, call up because I had indicated to them that you were an instrumentalist and you play instruments and a, a lot of them were interested in trying to spearhead their children into uh, picking up an instrument. You got any words of encouragement for something like that? Um, yeah, 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 I do. Like, like it, 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 I know it's one of the best things that happened to me. Um, it, it got, it, got it off, you know, like, uh, I, I say for for trying to get your child to play an instrument, um, and and just just maintaining that passion for it. Uh, practice makes perfect, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, 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 a legend like John Coltrane, mm -hmm. uh, he had a gift, but then on top of that gift, he practiced like sixteen hours a day. I ain't saying practice sixteen hours a day, but I'm saying uh, <laughs> um, uh, practice practice makes perfect. It, it's it's always going to be fun when you're good at it. Mm -hmm. And you're always be good at it when you practice. That's right. So, um, just yeah. How, yeah, how, how old were you when you started uh, playing around with instruments? Uh, my my dad sat me down at a piano when I was four years old. Mm -hmm. So I was I was I was a little taller. I was a little you mm -hmm. know I was, I was a little tight okay. when, I, when I started touching the keys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you just kind of got a feeling for it, or. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it just built from there. See, my, my family was a band. Uh, mm -hmm. my, my family was an R&B cover band. I was the youngest of five. Uh -oh. We travel around and we do all like the hit songs uh, of the day. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when I was uh, even when I was old enough to join the band at, at, at 11, when I, when I started playing, um, even before then, all those instruments were in the house because the band used to rehearse at my house. Right, so, right. Uh, all of the instruments was in the house, and uh, uh, you know, just, just accessibility. You know, everything mm -hmm. was there, and I started picking things up and started playing with them. Well, I heard you were in New York last weekend. Yeah, yeah. Was that York, cool? Uh, How cool was that? Uh, it was. It was a blast. We was in there for the Tribeca Film Festival, and um, I'm, I'm in a movie called In My Father's House. Oh wow! Okay. Which is uh, which, which is a movie based on. Uh, uh, Chicago native MC Ryan Fest, oh, Academy yeah. Award winner, recent Academy Award winner for Writing Glory with Common and John Legend. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a movie about him finding his father after 25 years, wow. and he found that he found that his father uh, didn't necessarily abandon him, but but had several hard times and was homeless for 25 years, and that's what happened to his father. And uh, it turns out, you know, when, when he got his family and stuff, he bought the house that his father lived in, mm -hmm. but uh, he, he had a hard time like living in that house. So he actually went and found his father and it, it kind of helped complete the family, you know, to complete the family spirit. And it's, it's, it's a great movie about like family and, and triumph for the human spirit. That's um, a great story. It. Not, not only am I in it, but I also helped with the, the soundtrack. You know, oh wow! I, I wrote some songs for the soundtrack, so yeah. Okay, when when everybody saw you when you came to Gary, Indiana, they they couldn't believe how old. Tell everybody how old you are. <laughs> yeah, twenty six. <laughs> twenty six years old, and your first single came out when you were what? Twenty three. Uh, tw uh, twenty. 
24. Okay. When I, when I first wrote that, yeah. Okay, so you wrote getting more money than you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. How did you come up with that? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's a great question. Um, you, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, I grew up in a family that, that was familiar with Stepper's culture, Stepper's lifestyle, mm -hmm. and Stepper's music. And me as a, now I'm, I'm not a Stepper's artist. I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm, I'm a pop artist. I, I pretty much write and, and make hits in any genre. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but, but folks would come up to me from like hanging out with my older brothers and sisters and, and be like, yeah, you should make a song for the Steppers. Uh -huh. And I'm like, okay, I right, well, if I'm going to do that, uh, uh, I want to make like, like one of the best Stepper songs of all time, you know, like, like I want to make one that, that kind of transcends the culture and, and brings it to the, brings it to the mainstream, brings it to the limelight, um, without, without losing the integrity of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, one thing I noticed about like Stepper's culture, one thing I noticed about that subgenre is, is up until this point, it was like four people of a certain age, five people of a certain age. Right. And and I wanted to do something. I was like, well, I'm like, well, man, you know, I'm not forty. <laughs> you know, so, so I'm like, I gotta, I gotta make it, I gotta make it so that that the, the people of that age. And around that age can dig it, but at the same time, like the people around my age can dig it. Because exactly. I'm, I'm my age, you know. Right. Um, and I gotta make sure I hit them too. So that that's why I wanted to make something that was a little more like geared for geared for us, but kind of introduced us to that that smoothness, those right. those sonic elements. And so you know, the, that's when the lyrics and everything, and then the the classic feel of it just started to just pour out. Wow, I know. Um you were here in Gary, Indiana over a year ago originally when we first, Tommy Williams and I, the station owner, when we first added the song to our playlist down, it came in at number 40 or something. And over that year period of time, we played it and it's become like a, a hook around here. Little kids, everybody in the neighborhood, I'm getting more money than you. Even when you were here at the grand opening of our sister station, Smoking 99, the little girl introduced you. And her and her sister were like nine and five, and they were singing the song while you were singing it. Because, you know, you not only created a crossover in culture for different age groups, but a hook for people to say, and it's not in a negative way, because I noticed in your last performance, and I've seen you perform it several times, you had it in there, look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor uh, I'm getting more money than you. It's like a, a thing, an uplifting thing in, in the culture, in the community, and we certainly have some other uh, songs of yours that we're gonna be adding to our playlist, but you know, spearheading the movement on you know, projecting you to where you need to be across the country, is you know, we're behind you in Gary, Indiana, and we're looking forward to you coming May 1st to rock the house, and uh, yeah. bring your Chicago friends with you, and we're just gonna have a great time, TL. The Dining Limb Big Show, Dope Living ENT, and Music Quest Entertainment welcomes TL Williams Friday, May 1st, from 8 o'clock p.m. until at the Link Bar, 752 Broadway in Gary, Indiana. That's right, join us as TL comes to us and sings his number one smash hit. Get more money than you. Along with T.L. Williams, his special guest Keith Jackson and the Triple Dose Band. Music for the night will be provided by DJ Rod, the real Northside Steppers. For details, call 219 252 2877. Steppers, come out and show what you got with T.L. Williams at the Link Bar Friday, May the 1st. You can get your tickets at the door for $10 and $15 VIP. This is a Dial In Big Show. Dope Living ENT and Music Quest Production.